So, welcome back to my channel. Today uh, we are having something different, a very special kind of operation. Uh, first of all, I'm using a DSLR from my girlfriend, which unfortunately does not allow to have an external microphone. So, the um, audio is a little bit uh, worse than usual, but uh, I can use the zoom, of course, to get closer to things. So, maybe this is a little bit better for you guys. Um, this motor here um, makes problems, it makes loud noises and um, I believe some kind of dirt maybe damaged it or I, I'm not sure. I ordered a new motor from Gebest, it arrived, so today I'm gonna show you how to disassemble and replace one of the motors, which is uh, quite easy. We can do this all without needing to remove the complete, uh, complete hull and everything. You can just remove these two parts here and solder the motor a uh, new motor in so but first of all uh, first i'm going to show you the weird noise that it makes and when um we get started yeah by uh, basically yeah just um removing the plastic cap but just placing it upside down removing the screws and some screws beneath and remove the whole thing the drone is connected now i turn it on now and i believe you guys can hear the sound it makes. So um, we start uh, by disassembling here this part here to actually get to the motor. We're just using a regular small Phillips screwdriver. So we can easily get to the motors, just two screws and that little piece here, just lay it over here. Okay, let's continue. Uh, we need a Torx T10 to remove these three screws here. The motor is loose now. We now start removing um, these little screws with the Phillips driver again. And we're removing this ones as well here. So, luckily, when just removing these two screws, you can actually unclip this part of the drone and you now are able to solder without removing the whole hull and everything. So it makes the whole process of changing the motor, of course, a lot more easier. This here is the new motor. Um, of course, um, you need to be sure uh, using the correct um, rotating direction. This is a counterclockwise motor also. You can see it by the silver tip. The black tips are for the uh, clockwise motors. So, while everything is heating up, we can prepare the motor already a little bit. I remove a little bit of the insulation. What I do next is um, I will first use some, some soldering set here. Actually, oops. Use some soldering here. That looks good. So, the best way to not burn your fingers is, of course, 
using a pair of <laughs> I'm missing the English word, but I can guess you can see it. Number three is go. Also removing the old solder. Okay, so you can really feel here that the old motor has some kind of resistance and keeps on getting stuck a little bit. So I don't know what happened, maybe some dirt got into it or something. Um, yeah, so we're starting the other way around again and we have to make sure of course to make good solder connections here. I'm shorting it a little bit and it's not too long. So first one looks good. Next one is the black cable. I'm also going to shorten that a little bit more. So, I think some solder on it. All right, and it looks quite well. So when putting it back together, you need to make sure that that little part piece here goes onto that little plastic piece. So um, can have to slide it up a little bit on there, so everything lines up when you turn it up uh, upside down again to put in the screws. So. Yeah, that looks promising. Already start putting one in before turning it upside down. Yep, the first one is there. Now we can easily put back in the other ones. a little bit back in. Okay, so this might be a little tricky. You have to hold this up a little bit and place it back beneath. So it yeah, just slides back on like it should. And we now can put back the screws on the other side. Uh, you need a bit. Uh, you need to be a little bit careful. These two long screws belong here, uh, right next to the LED. They are a little bit more longer than the other ones. I don't know if you can see it a little bit. So, the long ones to the LED. First, of course, need these three little screws here to go back in here from beneath. And placing the last part back onto it. And we're done. Let's see if everything works as expected. So I put back the propellers onto the drone and let's see if the motor is still working. It 
That sounds promising, yeah. Of course I won't take off now here indoors, but at least there are no weird noises. It looks quite good, so turning it off again. So everything is prepared. Let's see if everything is working as expected. 